We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, we give you praise, Jesus. We bow down before your name, Lord. We bow down before you, Jesus. We give you praise, we worship the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, Lord. You are my sanctifier. Hallelujah, you are my sanctifier. Hallelujah, you are my sanctifier. We give you all the praise. My beautiful, turn away. Tend away my pain. You've tend away my pain. My beautiful, you have tend away my pain, Lord. Jesus. You've tend away my pain. You've tend away my pain. My beautiful, you've turned away my pain, Lord. You've turned away my pain. You've turned away my pain. My beautiful, you've turned away my pain. Tend away my pain. You tend away my pain. My beautiful, you've tend away my pain. You've tend away my pain. You've tend away my pain. My beautiful, turn away my pain, Lord. Yeah. You've turned away my pain. You've turned away my pain. My beautiful, you have turned away. My beautiful, you turned away my pain, Lord. You turned away my pain. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. We honor you, Lord. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, that we are alive today. Thank you, Lord, that we could be found in your presence, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We just want to say, Lord, we magnify your holy name. You are God and there is none like you. You are the rose of Sharon. You are the lily of the valley. You are the I am that I am. Ah, the ancient of days. 
Father, we bless you, O oh God. Thank you for this opportunity to come and be encouraged by your word, O oh God Almighty, in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Even this morning, O oh God, our ears are attentive. O oh God Almighty, to your word. Speak, O oh God. Speak the word that will deliver us. Speak the word that will help us. Speak the word that the world is looking for. In the mighty name of Jesus. In these trying times, Father, we don't want anything else but your word. One word from you, O oh God. It's enough to change our situations. One word from you, O oh God, is enough to deliver us. One word from you, O oh God, is enough to bring healing. One word from you, O oh God, is enough to level the mountains. My God, it doesn't matter how huge the mountains are before us, but your word, O oh God Almighty, will level the mountains before us. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are here, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, to come and get the marching orders. In the name of Jesus, whatever that we say, help us, O oh God Almighty, to hear what the Spirit is saying. In the mighty name of Jesus, help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, deliver us, O oh God, from the spirit of ignorance. In the name of Jesus, our Father, our dependence is in you, O oh God. We know, O oh God, that our help cometh from you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, nothing is impossible with you. What is impossible with us, what is impossible with me, Father, with you it is possible. In the name of Jesus, your ways are higher than our ways. In the name of Jesus, my God, I thank you once more this morning. In the name of Jesus, that your people out there, viewers out there, my God shall be delivered through your word. In the name of Jesus, the viewers out there shall receive their deliverance, shall receive their healing. My God, in the name of Jesus, some are God Almighty are in ventilations, some are ventilators, some are others are God. My God are in oxygen in the name of Jesus. They are in hospitals. Some are sick of different sicknesses. But Lord, this morning, my God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you stretch out your hand, oh Father, that you have said it is not too short, my God, to save us. Let that hand be stressed upon them in the name of Jesus. Deliver all of them from all kinds of tribulations, from all kinds of diseases. In Jesus' mighty name, we bless you, oh God. We honor you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you use me, my God, to your honor and your glory. In the name of Jesus, my God, I pray, Lord, for revelation knowledge of your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, O oh God. We glorify you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, that you have brought us thus far. And we know for sure that you did not bring us thus far to leave us, O oh God, but you brought us thus far. My God, in the name of Jesus, to help us, to press forth, to help us, to press on, to help us, to break forth in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the covering of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood continue to speak better things. Let the blood continue to speak healing. My God, upon your people, upon the world, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Be greeted once more in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Home knowing is life eternal. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wherever you might be listening from, you might be watching from, be greeted in that matchless name, in Jesus' mighty name. Be rest assured that your life will never be the same again. You cannot hear the word of the Lord and your situation remain the same. Open your heart for the word of God. Open your heart for God himself. Be blessed wherever you are. We are Shakena Tabernacle, a family worship center, spiritual home for all nations. You are welcome and you are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. So remember mm, to continue to subscribe, like, 
our Facebook page. And the Lord will do you well. Hallelujah. May we quickly go to the reading of the way. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, this is the hour of prayer. This is the hour of prayer. Acts chapter number 3. From verse number 1 until verse number 10. Quickly get there. Acts chapter number 3. From verse number 1 until verse number 10. I'm reading, if you are there, I'm reading from the ESV version. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer. Mm. This is the hour of prayer. The ninth hour. And a man lame from birth, oh Jesus, was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple that is called the beautiful gate, to ask alms, to ask gifts, to ask for monies of those entering the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked to receive arms. And Peter directed his gaze at him, as did John, and said, look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and began to walk. And entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw, saw him walking and praising God. And recognized him as the one who, who sat at the beautiful gate of the temple, asking for arms. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened. Psalm 97, verse number 5. If you are there, I'm reading. Psalm 97, verse number 5. ESV version. The mountains melt like wax. Before the Lord. Before the Lord of all the earth. Father, we thank you. We bless the reading of your way. Your word is blessed in Jesus' mighty name. We know that our lives will never be the same again. After hearing and receiving this way in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. The chains shall be broken. Battles shall be lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, that sicknesses, O oh God Almighty, shall be healed. Viruses shall be killed in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, that your word is sharper than any double-edged sword. In Jesus' mighty name. Ah, you have sent forth your word, my God, in the name of Jesus. And your word will not come back to you void without accomplishing its mission. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, that burdens shall be lifted. Thank you, O oh God, that every chain of sickness, every chain of poverty, every bondage shall be broken. In Jesus' mighty name. I thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I've titled my message this morning. 
It might be evening, it might be night where, where you are. Your problems will disappear in the presence of the Lord. Your problems will run away in the presence of the Lord. That is why when we come to the Lord, when we come to the presence of the Lord, we come the way we are, being burdened, being overwhelmed by situations, by troubles, by unfavorable conditions, knowing one thing, that those things will surely disappear in the presence of the Lord. Ah, there is liberty, there is deliverance in the presence of the Lord. There is hope in the presence of the Lord. Nothing is too difficult for God. Our God is well able to do exceedingly, abundantly above that which we can think, imagine, or even ask in the name of Jesus. So there is something awesome in the presence of the Lord. Ah, your deliverance is in the presence of the Lord. Whatever that you are looking for is in the presence of the Lord. Right where you are, as you are listening to the word of the Lord. Ah, you are in the presence of the Lord. So I am assuring you, so you will not leave the presence of the Lord the way you came in. You will not leave the presence of the Lord the way you were. You will leave the presence of the Lord as a new man. You will leave the presence of the Lord with your testimony. You will leave the presence of the Lord. Ah, knowing one thing, that indeed the Lord has done something for you. You will leave the presence of the Lord jumping, leaping with joy. You will leave the presence of the Lord with your testimony. It doesn't matter that, that which you have been going through. It doesn't matter the troubles you have been facing. It doesn't matter the opposition that you have been facing. But you are in the presence of the Lord. I'm here to declare to you today that embrace the presence of the Lord. When you embrace the presence of the Lord, I assure you that your problems will have no option but to leave. Your situations will have no option but to change. In the mighty name of Jesus, you might be going through hell, but I'm here to assure you that that hell will disappear in the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, where we have read in the book of Acts, chapter number 3, verse number 1 to 10, how we saw, the Bible tells us that there was a man, oh, mighty God, there was a man, there was a man, there was a man who was troubled, there was a man who, who was having troubles? There was a man who did not enjoy life in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible tells us that this man was born lame in Jesus' mighty name. And the, 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 the man was being carried. The man could not walk by himself. Ah, the man could not do anything for himself. The man was relying on other people to help him. The man did not have anything to do to do for himself. So the Bible tells us that he was carried daily. He was carried and he was put at the gate called the beautiful at the gate of the temple. He was put there by people who were carrying him daily. I don't know why they put him by the gate, but the Bible tells us that they daily carried him to the gate to ask for arms. I don't know if they were using him. I don't know if they were pushing their agendas through him. I don't know if they were abusing him. But, but the Bible tells us that he was carried to the gate of the temple. And the people who carried him, they could not bring the man in the temple. But they left the man at the gate to ask for money sir, in the name of Jesus. But I do believe that even that money, sir, even those arms, sir, the man could not enjoy them because he could do nothing for himself because of his situation. Sir. So he was being used. He was being abused. I don't know whom I'm talking to. You might be abused. You might be having been used. But I'm here to declare to you that your situation will change. The Bible tells us that Peter and John came to the house of the Lord. They came to the temple. 
in the hour of prayer, they came. It is not only them. People came before them. People were coming daily. There were services going on. There were services rendered in the temple. But when Peter and John came, the man looked at them in the name of Jesus. I believe that his heart jumped with joy that this man looked like men who will give me something. They looked like people who will help me. His heart jumped with joy and he looked at them expecting something from them. He looked at them expecting money from them. He looked at them expecting help from them. But little did he know that what he was looking for, it was nothing compared to what he was about to receive. Little did he know that what he was looking for was nothing compared Almighty, to what he was about to receive. His miracle was imminent, but he was not aware of that. His miracle was at hand, but he was not aware. I'm here to declare to you today that your miracle is your hand is at hand. Your miracle is at your doorstep. Your miracle is knocking. Make sure that you make room for that miracle. Make sure that you make room for that miracle. Because that miracle is for sure is coming your way. The Bible tells us that he looked at them expecting something expecting something the man who was lame from birth and when Peter realized what this man's intentions were he directed his gaze at him he looked at him intently and John and John did the same they looked at him and Peter said look at us Look at us. Mm, 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 mm. The man was already looking at them. But Peter is saying to him, look at us. In other words, Peter was saying to him, ah, let your eyes be open. See something that is great. See your miracle that, that is about to come to you. That is about to happen. I know you have been looking at us. But I, I challenge you, look at us intently. See something greater than money. See something greater than arms. See something greater than gifts that you are expecting. And he said to him, look at us. And the man fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold. I have no silver and gold. I, I, I have no silver and gold. But what I do have, I give to you. I, I, what I do have, I, I, I give to you. I, I, I will not keep it to myself. I, this thing uh, is too big that I can keep it to myself. What I'm having, I need to share with you. What I'm having, I need to give it to you. Because I've, uh, what I'm having, I received it freely. What I'm having, I did not pay for it. That which I'm having, I did not buy it. That which I'm having, no man gave it to me. What I'm having is extraordinary. What I'm having is divine. Look at us. Silver and gold, I don't have. But what I do have, I give to you. What I do have, I give to you in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you are having in the name of Jesus. When people are coming to ask oh, you something, what are you having? What are you having, child of God? What are you having in your inside? These men were men of God. So they were carrying God. They were, they were moving altars. They were mobile altars. Ah, in the name of Jesus, I'm here to declare to you that you are about to receive something. You are about to receive something in the name of Jesus. And Peter said, what I have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise and walk. Rise and walk. Wherever you are, rise and walk. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong in the name of Jesus. And he leaped up. He jumped up. He stood. And the Bible says he began to walk. And he entered the temple with them. 
in the name of Jesus, I'm here to declare to you today, there is something greater that you will receive from God. There is something awesome that you will receive from God. You might be laying on your sick bed, but I'm here to declare to you, rise and walk in the name of Jesus. You shall be strengthened by the power of God. You shall be strengthened by the power of God. There were many people who passed, who passed uh, this man, and uh, they never uh, collaborated gave them anything in the name of Jesus but I do understand that there is no man who can give you anything that he does not possess I cannot give you something that I do not have and all these people who pass this thing that did not have anything to give to him I don't know maybe they had money maybe they had whatever they gave it to him but they did not have Jesus they did not have Jesus to give to this man you cannot give people Jesus if you did not if you don't have him you can't give people what you don't have but Peter and John were loaded the Bible says greater is he who is in us so greater is Jesus who is in us who was in, inside Peter who was inside John that is why when you have Jesus you, you, are, you are as bold as a lion when you are with Jesus you are not afraid when you are with Jesus you are not intimidated so Peter and John they were not intimidated by the situation of this man who was lame from birth nobody could help him but this day it was the day of his miracle and i thank god for peter and john that they had the lord i thank god for peter and john that they did not do as others did to just pass by him this man without helping him in jesus mighty name this man was in need of something that is greater than money i'm here to declare to you 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 are in need of something that is greater than that job that you are looking for you, you, you need something greater than money that, that you are wishing to have you, you need something greater you need something that will carry you through you need something that will make you to arise from your sick bed uh, money cannot take you out of that situation uh, you are in that situation but your bank is flowing is loaded you need something extraordinary i'm here to declare to you today don't don't be ignorant uh, of this world this world is for you this world is for me this world will deliver us the only thing that will deliver us from these situations that we find us in it is the word of god it is jesus himself the men were carrying jesus they came with jesus and peter said we don't have any other thing except jesus but remember when we have jesus you have everything when you have Jesus, you have everything. You, you, you will like nothing. When we have Jesus, you are loaded. When we have Jesus, you will declare to that mountain, mountain, be removed. And that mountain will obey you. So this man received the miracle in the hour of prayer. You are in the hour of prayer. Your miracle is at hand. Your miracle is about to happen. The man went into the temple jumping, limping with joy, happy that he received what he, he, he was not expecting. I'm here to declare to you in the name of Jesus that God will shower you with so much blessing that you will have no room enough to contain it. In the name of Jesus, your miracle will overtake you in the name of Jesus. You will receive more than what you are bargained for. In the name of Jesus, I'm here to challenge you and encourage you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If this man who was slain from birth ah, could receive his miracle in the hour of prayer, I'm here to declare to you, you will receive your miracle. Open your heart and receive your miracle. I thank God that this man, after he received his miracle, he followed the man to the temple 
of the Lord. He followed the man to the temple of the Lord. I'm here to declare to you that your problems will disappear in the presence of the Lord. There is healing in the presence of the Lord. The man received healing in the presence of the Lord. Ah, he was not in the building, but he was in the presence of the Lord. You can be not in the building, but yet in the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. So make sure that you are always in the presence of the Lord. Even as you are driving, ah, remain in the presence of the Lord. Even as you are waking, remain in the presence of the, way, of the, the, the Lord. Even as you wake, wake as unto the Lord. For it is God who gave you strength so that you can perform those duties in Jesus' mighty name. Ah, you are about to see uh, your miracle, uh, to experience uh, your miracle. Uh, the man uh, received uh, his testimony after so many years. Uh, ah, the man uh, been there by the gate. Uh, uh, but this day, uh, he did not remain uh, in the gate. Uh, he entered uh, the temple. Uh, maybe it was his wish uh, to be put uh, to be brought uh, in the temple. Uh, but because uh, of his challenges, uh, he could not make because of his challenges, nobody could help him. Maybe he did ask them, maybe today I don't want to be at the gate. I want to enter. I want to see what is happening inside there. But maybe they refused, knowing one thing, that they will lose all God Almighty money. They will lose what they would have gained that day. Maybe he asked them and they refused. Maybe you have been asking people and they refuse to help you. But I'm here to let you, your help has come your way this morning in the name of Jesus. Ah, this evening, wherever you are, maybe this evening, it is night. In the name of Jesus, your help has come your way. So help came the way of this man and he received help you will receive from your help you will receive from your healing in the name of jesus the bible says in psalm 97 verse number five he says mountains melt before the lord in the new king james version it will say mountains melt in the presence of the lord i declare that your mountain will melt in the presence of the lord your mountain will disappear in the mighty name of jesus i don't know the name of your mountain maybe the name of your mountain is sickness that sickness will melt in the presence of the lord remain in the presence of the lord i don't know maybe your mountain is poverty maybe your mountains is whatever problems that is you are encountering in your relationship in your marriage but in the presence of the lord those situations those problems will melt like wax ah you will see them no more forever you will look for them you will not see them you will search for them you will not see them they would have melted in the presence of the lord remain in the presence of the lord this man Ah, uh, came uh, in the presence of the Lord uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so Peter and John, uh, they were carrying uh, the presence of the Lord. Uh, I urge you, uh, you carry to carry the presence of the Lord uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, you will make it. Uh, you will make it. Uh, you will make it. Uh, you will break through in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will arise uh, from that sick bed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, maybe your mountain uh, is COVID-19. Uh, the Bible says. Uh, mountains melt before the Lord in the presence of the Lord ah, ah I declare that that COVID-19 will melt in the name of Jesus you will come and testify like this man about the goodness of the Lord you will come jumping in the presence of the Lord nobody will be able to stop you in the name of Jesus ah this man was not was not pulled uh, to go into the temple uh, but uh, what he received uh, pushed him uh, to go uh, and testify uh, to others uh, and the Bible says uh, people uh, were surprised uh, they said uh, but this is the man uh, who was there by the gate uh, this is the man uh, who was there asking for arms uh, this is the very man uh, who was lame uh, from from birth uh, this is the same man uh, that have been carried uh, uh, daily this is the very man uh, in the name of Jesus, I declare, oh God, 
upon your life in the name of Jesus. Then the language of people towards you will change in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who thought you will never make it, ah, they will change their statements. Ah, they will be surprised. They will look at you. Is he the one? Is he the one? Ah, he looks like the one, but you will not be looking like the one. You will be the one in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, the man received this miracle. His problems disappear. I believe that he threw, I want to believe that he threw away all those things that people gave him because they were not valuable to him. He received something more valuable. Peter and John, and they gave him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So freely we have received this salvation and freely we must give it to you. We are inviting you in the name of Jesus. Even this morning, as you hear the word of the Lord, do not harden your heart. Open your heart for the word to come through. Open your heart so that you will be able to testify like this man. It doesn't matter how many people jumped you over. It doesn't matter how many people passed you as if you are nothing, as if they don't see you in the name of Jesus. Remember, all things work together for good. This man was waiting, oh God Almighty, for, uh, for, his, for his opportunity. He did not know that he was waiting to be healed. He, he did not expect that to be healed. He, he did not expect that. Ah, I've heard testimonies of people that said, I gave up. I, 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 I prayed my last prayer, thinking that I'm going, thinking that I'm dying because of this sickness. Ah, you will testify in the name of Jesus. You will testify. You will come out of that situation. You will come out of that problem by the mighty hand of God, by the help of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I urge you just to remain in the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, there is healing in the presence of the Lord. There is healing. There is deliverance in the presence of the Lord. Breakthroughs are experienced in the, in the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, this man was in the presence of the Lord. In the form of Peter and John. Because they were carrying God. When you have Jesus, you can command the mountain to move. So this day, make sure that you don't remain outside, but you come in the present. Your help is in the presence of the Lord. This man, for many days, for many years, was in the presence of me, but he could not receive his breakthrough. But once he came face to face with the presence of the Lord, his life changed. Your life will change in the presence of the Lord. Your life will change in the presence of the Lord. Right where you are, how we are about to pray, I urge you, I challenge you to take Jesus, to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life. Uh, the, this man accepted the gift that Peter and John gave him. He received it. He embraced the gift. And his life was never the same again. I challenge you. I urge you this morning. You can do the same by accepting the Lord. By just praying this prayer. Wherever you are, just follow me. And say, Lord Jesus, uh, today I open my heart for you to come in. I open my heart for you to dwell in. I open my heart for you. I open my heart for your way. Come in my heart. Transform my life change my life i repent from my wayward ways i repent oh god almighty from my sins i wash away all my sins in jesus mighty name and make me a new man for any man who is in christ jesus is a new man help me 
uh, to be a new man in the name of Jesus. I pray your God in the name of Jesus that whatever bondage of God Almighty that I have been experiencing is living now in the name of Jesus. I declare that I am born again. I am the child of God. All the old things have passed away. I'm a new creation in Jesus Christ. I'm born again. I'm a child of God in Jesus' mighty name. Let us continue. We, 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 we are praying. We are praying. We are praying. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Let us pray. And say, Lord, I pray today that I will not settle for less. This man was settling for lesser things. This man was settling for invaluable things. This man was settling for things that could not help him, that could, that could not help him whatsoever. So pray this prayer this morning and say, Lord, help me not to settle for crumbs. For God has something in store for me. For God has greater blessing for me. Help me, Lord, to see that which you are having in store for me. Help me open my eye of understanding. Open my eyes so that I will be able to see that thing that you are having for me. In the name of Jesus, help me not to run after little things that, 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 that cannot help me. Help me, Lord, not to run after people, but help me, Lord, to run after your presence. Help me, Lord, continue to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are here, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, not to settle for less. For too long, we have been settling for less. For too long, we have been settling for things that cannot help us. But Lord, this day, in the name of Jesus, we want to, 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 to be in your presence. We want that, that which you have promised us. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to settle for less. In the name of Jesus, for greater blessings that you have in store for us. You said in your word that you know the plans that you have for us. Those plans are good and not evil. In the name of Jesus, we declare that you will settle no longer for lesser things. In the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, like this man who was settling for less, but little did he know that there was something coming his way. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to understand that you are God and there is none like you. Help us, Lord, to trust you with all our being. Help us, Lord, to believe your way. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, not to settle for little things, for lesser things. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to understand, oh God Almighty, that our liberty cannot be bought. Our deliverance cannot be bought. Help us, Lord, to understand that it is your presence that will make us whole. It is your presence that will help us. It is your presence that will that will make us to carry our beds and begin to walk. It is our it is your presence that will make us whole. It is your presence that will fulfill us. It is your presence that will satisfy us. The man was there for many days, for many years, but yet he was dissatisfied. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us. We are we want to be satisfied, but we know, we have heard, we have seen that true satisfaction, it is in the presence of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for helping us. We will never, ever settle for less. We refuse to settle for less. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord. Let us continue to pray and say, Lord, as I'm in the presence of the Lord, help us to remain in the presence of the Lord. Help me. Let there be nothing that will take me away from the presence of the Lord. Let there be nothing that will that will rob me of your of, of, of my blessings by taking me away from your presence. Help me, Lord. Let me not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Help me to remain steadfast. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to remain in your presence. Help me, Lord, to remain in your presence for my restoration. My restoration is in your presence. My healing is in your presence. My deliverance is in your presence. Help me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us continue to pray. And say, Lord, I thank you that no longer will anybody, anyone take advantage of me. Nobody 
will use me for their own agendas. In Jesus' mighty name, I refuse, oh God, to be used, oh God Almighty, as a stepping stone for others, oh God Almighty, for their advantage, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I, 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 I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that I will not be abused, I will not be used, in the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, to advance, oh God Almighty, evil things, in Jesus' mighty name, oh God Almighty, no one will take advantage of my situation, in the name of Jesus, for I know that this situation is temporary, I know, oh God, that this too shall pass, I will come out, out of this situation, I will come out strong. I will come out with a testimony. Nobody will take advantage of me any longer. I declare, even upon your life, that nobody will take advantage of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you, O oh God. I honor you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus, let us pray and say, Lord, every grave that has been dug for me, ah, I close it today. In the name of Jesus, ah, I, I want to believe uh, that, 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 that you follow the news. Uh, you, you have been watching uh, all over the world. Uh, Almighty God, uh, there, are, there, 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 there are graves, uh, oh God Almighty, that have been dark, uh, oh God Almighty, for people, uh, expecting people, uh, oh God Almighty, that will die of COVID-19 uh, to get there. But you've got the power, you've got the power and the ability to close uh, that grave. Uh, you can close it uh, Continue to pray, Lord, I close every grave that has been dark, oh God Almighty, for me, I declare, Lord, that I shall live and not die, in the name of Jesus, I shall live a full life, in Jesus' mighty name, no empty grave, oh God Almighty, no open grave will swallow me, in the name of Jesus, I close every grave right now, in the name of Jesus, or you can take yourself out of that situation, by your, through your mouth, uh, by declaring uh, the Bible declares uh, uh, the power of death and life uh, is in your tongue. Uh, declare life uh, instead of death. Uh, declare that you are healed uh, no matter your pains uh, that you are experiencing. Maybe you are in oxygen, uh, you cannot speak, uh, but deep down uh, in your spirit, uh, in your inner man, uh, in your heart, uh, declare that I will make it. Uh, I will come out uh, of this situation. Uh, I will not enter that grave in the name of Jesus, you grave, you will not have me. You grave, you will not swallow me. And the one that I've received conquered you. The one that I've received conquered death. I shall not die prematurely. I receive to die prematurely. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now for all those who are sick. In the name of Jesus, I declare that their hour of deliverance has come. I declare that your hour of healing has come. I declare that your hour of restoration has come. I declare restoration upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, don't be discouraged. You will come out. You will get up from this, from that bed. In the name of Jesus, you will come out. Oh God Almighty, of that ICU. You will come out of that hospital. You will come out of that quarantine site with the testimony. In the name of Jesus, you will be jumping with joy. In the name of Jesus, you will be jumping like a calf after it has been fed. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I declare that you are well. You are not sick. In Jesus' mighty name, do Remember, the Bible declares you too, you also, you've got the power to declare something that is not there. And when you begin to declare it, you will see it manifesting, you will see it coming up. Declare healing upon your family, declare healing upon your friends, ah, upon your neighbors, declare healing upon your family members, upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name, wherever you might be, you shall not die. But you shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus. No weapon, no sickness that is formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing, 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 nothing will destroy you when you are in the presence of the Lord. The man came ah, to the gate, lame, but he went home by himself. He came being carried. I declare. That you might be, ah, God Almighty, 
in that hospital. You were carried to that quarantine site, but you will come out by yourself. You will come out by yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness will destroy you in the name of Jesus. There is something in the presence of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for that which you have done for us. Lord, I thank you for healing that we have received. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus for our restoration. I thank you, Lord, for our deliverance. I thank you, Lord, for, for your encouragement. I thank you, Lord, that we will leave our government in this place. Be encouraged and we will go out and encourage others that they can make it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for every prayer that we have made here in the name of Jesus. Father, we seal that with the blood of Jesus. We declare, oh God, that there is no principality that will withheld. There is no principality that will stop our answers. We will receive our answers in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, when we believe that whatever that we have asked in prayer, in Mark 11, 24, well, if you believe, ah, believe, child of God, that whatever that you have prayed for, you have received it. The Bible says, you will see, you will see it with your own eyes. You will have it when you believe. Believe it shall go well with you. Only believe all things are possible. Only believe ah, you will have a testimony in Jesus mighty name. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou glorified, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, in Jesus mighty name, for touching your people wherever they are, in the name of Jesus. Our leaders in the government, our political leaders, oh God, may the church of the living God, in leaders, in different ministries, thank you, oh God, that you are strengthening the children of God. Those who are down, they are, they are beginning to get up in the mighty name of Jesus. They are being strengthened like this man whose ankles were strengthened, were strengthened in the name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, that they will begin to be strengthened. They will arise and they will declare that Jesus is the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that which you have done for us in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, remain blessed. God loves you. Remain in his presence. Your problems will disappear in the presence of the Lord. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hallelujah. One time to yes. God turned all one Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. One part of me, sir. 